Hello guys, what's up? Prashun here and today we are going to discuss a very basic topic on Java that is heap memory and stack memory. Now there are many programmers out there and trust me, we kind of overlook these concepts. Hence, it is very important that we have some basic knowledge about these things which will help us a lot when our app grows bigger in size. Here we have a class ABC and a method named first method in it. Now as soon as a method is created, a stack space is allocated for it. If you declare a local variable B, then the same stack space will be allocated for B within the first method. Now if you call another method named second method, then again a stack space will be allocated on top of the first method. Variable C which is declared inside the second method will also get the same stack space within the second method. Suppose there is another class XYZ with instance variables P and Q. Now the third method here creates a new object of class XYZ. As soon as the new operator is created, space is allocated for P and Q in the heap memory. Space for the reference variable ref is created on the stack memory within the third method and the assignment operator that is equal will help the reference variable to point to the object on the heap. Once the execution of third method is completed, the stack memory related to third method will be removed along with the reference variable ref. Now since there is no reference variable pointing to the object, they will also be eligible for garbage collection. The control will now move on to the calling method that is the second method in this case. When its execution will be completed, it will also be removed from the stack memory and the same thing will happen with the first method once its execution is completed. Eventually, the control will return to the starting method that is the main method. So guys, in short, heap memory basically contains your objects while stack memory contains primitive data types of methods and the reference variables.